So those beheading videos, are they real? Or are they staged psyops to control you? And I control you. I don't um, want to tie it towards other things or build a larger narrative. I want to look specifically at that one. All right, I don't know how many other videos there were. Um, I know I saw one of them. I can't even remember which one it was. Um, but before I had heard any um, skepticism of it, before I had heard anybody question it, I remember looking at it and thinking, this is a green screen. Like, the level of fakeness was beyond any question. Um, you show me a video like that, and I don't feel I need to demonstrate that it's fake. I feel like you need to demonstrate that it's not. Um, there's just a certain level... I mean, I mean, if I tried to show you, um, you know, a video with, with uh, you know, Papa Smurf, uh, you know, riding a rainbow up to up to Care Bear Land, um, would it be, you know, if I showed you that video, um, would it then be up to you to demonstrate to me that it's fake? It would be clear to anyone who's seen it that it would that it's fake, and. I'm not. I'm not. I, I, I'm not sure which one it was, um, but it was one of the videos that's been not circulated, um, and it was. It was a green screen. You were looking at digital effects, um, and I remember thinking that uh, this guy's got a British accent. So, you show me a film that's done on a green screen with digital effects with uh, a supposed jihadist with a British accent, and you expect me to... My, my immediate reaction was that it was probably filmed in London. Um, and... I don't feel I need to apologize for stating this without evidence. Because it is so obvious. That if you have any, that if you, if you have eyes in your head, then you can see that um, the background was not real. Um, and uh, I mean, it's hard to. I, I I've never seen a beheading before. I don't have much to compare, right? But um, certainly, I, I I can identify computer generated graphics and green screens when I see them. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't even a bad, sorry, it wasn't even a good fake. It was badly faked, right? So, something else that's come up um, over and over again with this particular concern is this um, continual push um, by the media, you know, uh, you know, if you watch that video, you must be some kind of a, you know, a, some kind of a sadist or something, you know. You you need help. You should go see a psychiatrist. It seems um, they put a lot of effort into, into uh, well. Okay, so I'm jumping the gun there a little. They seem um, curiously interested in um, uh, suggesting that you don't watch the film. Um, and um, I have to say that um, if I was in charge, or I mean, if if I had released a video that that was that poorly done, um, I, I would probably um, suggest that nobody watch it as well. So, um, if you do get the chance to see any of them, I'm not sure. Like I say, I'm not sure exactly which one it was. I think it was the most high-profile one. Uh, I did watch it, and um, it wasn't. It wasn't even close. It was like I, I I've seen more realistic films from the '90s. Like it was really badly faked. I'm sorry. I, I I'm not trying to build a broader narrative around anything. I'm just saying that 
that video that was released was quite obviously done on a green screen and very poorly at that. So, you know, make of that what you will, but uh, the video was... And in fact, I believe that they've actually um, acknowledged the video was staged. So...